Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make a, I guess you would call it a Polaroid picture. So first, you want to start off by opening whatever picture you want. Then, I'm going to resize this one. So, I still want it kind of big. So, I'm going to do it about 900 the width and height 682 so that looks pretty good scale it now just as an added note before we go on to the rest I'm just going to show how to get this background part back um, all the way with the, the layer I was very confused about that for a while so you're going to have to go up to image and then fit canvas to layers and that takes away that back round things so that's just added so now we want to click the rectangle select tool and make a selection around the picture now I'm going to make mine right here more like a, a frame around the picture instead of really Polaroidish which is usually you know really big white frame so I'm just gonna have it smaller. That looks good. Now go up to select and invert. So that makes all this outside selected. So now we're going to go to the bucket fill tool and make sure that fill hole selection is selected. And so fill it in with whatever color you want really, but I'm going to use white. So, now we go up to select and none, and we're going to make a new layer now. So click the little button down here for new layer. Make sure it's on transparency, and click OK. And now we want to click, while having uh, the new layer selected, we want to click the arrow button down to put it underneath the picture. So now, we are going to resize this picture again. And I'm going to do it a bit smaller. That looks pretty good. So, now, you can select the new layer and fill it with, we're going to select the bucket tool, and then fill it with whatever color you want, whatever. I'm just going to do a light blue. Now, we're going to fill it in. Now, go to the Move tool and select the background, which is the picture, and move it to wherever you want it over the new layer. Now, after this, you can pretty much do whatever you want, but if you want it to really be like a Polaroid picture over something. You want to go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Then um, the offset X and offset Y is pretty good. It depends on how big you want the shadow to be, but that's okay for me. And then the color black I think is pretty good. Border radius is fine, so I'm going to just go along with that. See, and that gives it the shadow underneath. I just think it's a cool effect. It makes it look like it's over it. So now you want to uh, right-click on the background layer and press Merge Down. So now it's all together with the shadow. So now, after this, now, you can decorate whatever you want. I'll just show you can rotate this around. Good. Now, just do whatever you want now with this. And I'll just show you a few things that I've made with this. I did this with that same picture. And there's this one. And now, uh, I'm going to show you how to do 
make it look like it's over something, like really a picture. Like you can make it look like it's on a cork board or up on a wall or something. So start off with your picture. Now I'm going to resize it. That's pretty good. Now add another layer, just like before. Put it underneath. Give it a color. Um, I'll just have it be green. Fill it in with the bucket tool. Now, uh, you want to give the picture a shadow. So, I'm going to go up to filters, light and shadow, and drop shadow. That's good. So, and this time, don't merge it down onto the shadow. Don't merge the picture. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to filters and distorts and then curve bend. Now, here, you can do whatever you want with it to make it look like it's it's curved and like, you know, bent with age or just whatever. It makes it look more like a real picture. You just mm, first you start with the upper and just bend it however you want. And then the lower. See how that looks? Make sure the automatic preview is selected so you can see. <laughs> that looks weird. That looks okay, I guess. So, after that is done, you want to click OK. And then you can redo it if that doesn't really look right. Like, mine isn't exactly perfect. But now you can see it looks like it's over something and it looks like it's curved and bent. Now you can pretty much do whatever you want with, say, you can add uh, a different background with the bucket tool and go to pattern fill or whatever fill you want it to be. Like, you can make it look like it's on some kind of board or on a t or on the table or something. Just whatever you want. You can add a tack or tape or whatever. So that's pretty much it. Hope this tutorial has helped and thanks for watching.